So tell me a little bit about last year, um, how last season went, and your thoughts on it. Last year we did a lot better than we've done in previous seasons, um, and I think it went really well overall. And we've been working to like be better for our next season, but also we've had a change. We got a new head coach, so it's pretty different. But we're positive. We have a positive outlook on the next season, so I think it'll be good. And how has so new head coach? Yes. How, has it been difficult kind of learning the, the new coach and, and their philosophies and stuff? Um, it's definitely different than last year, um, but I think that's what makes great athletes and great coaches is that we can work together and learn different people, and that's so important for future and right now. So it's been different, but it hasn't been bad. So. And what has been the main focus this offseason? Uh, what's been the main focus you want to work on this offseason to improve off last year? We've just been mostly working on like our team chemistry and like coming together and playing together as much as we can. Like every time we get in the gym, we're just getting on the court, you know, playing together, um, just doing whatever we can to like get a feel for each other and how we move and how we work together. So. And what are your expectations for this year when you come into this? Um, really, just hoping that we can all just have that, um, you know, mutually just wanting to win and just that hustle, that drive um, that keeps us, you know, keep working. And I just really hope that um, we can all just keep our focus and not have. Um, as much up and down maybe as we used to, and um, yeah. <laughs> and what's on our pregame playlist? What do you listen to before the game? Oh, we listen to kind of everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have like a mix of personalities on our team, so it can range from like pop music, rap music, yeah. really anything, country <laughs> music. Big team speaker, or is it like individual? Uh, usually, we'll we bring usually one. have a speaker. Yeah. We usually have like individual on the bus, and then we all like get together right before the game. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. So tell me a little bit about last year, how last season went, and then what you're talking about. Um, last season, we had a pretty good season, I think, for us. We improved a lot, and like we started working together, and I think overall it's a good experience. What are the what are vibe, the vibes like in the locker room, like the team? Um, it's, it's just all good vibes. I feel like, you know, we try to lock in before a game, and, you know, like, um, Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what what are your thoughts on this upcoming season? What are your, the expectations that you have? Um, we're really excited. We have like a lot of new people in, so we're all trying to like mesh together. But we're really excited on working hard, and I think it's gonna be good. What are we listening to pregame? What's on the playlist? Mm, anything really? Anything to get us hyped? Anything. Anything that pumps you up? We don't have a favorite artist or anything. No, I don't. I got you. Thank y'all so much. You're Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about last year. A good season made it to the state championship game. Didn't end the way you wanted it to, though. But talk a little bit about last year and how that went. Uh, I think we had a great season last year. And most games, we did what we needed to do. And the games that we didn't win, we went back and fixed what we needed to fix to win the next game. How has it been these past four years, the amount of football that y'all played, uh, postseason, regular season, y'all played a ton of games. How has this run been for you, uh, Brisbane, and, and, and how do you want to end this season? Uh, I think it's just been a, a real learning experience to us because um, a lot of us is back. Like, um, I wouldn't, I couldn't really just say a lot of us split up, but we still got a lot of boys back that we got good communication with, good like life, life skills with. You know, um, a lot of us hang out on and off the field, so we know what what to do and what not to do. Um, but so this year, our, our plan is, you know, make that make another run, go back to state, um, actually win it this time. We done choked too many times. Um, but I feel like we really, we really got a chip on our shoulder this year after what happened last year, uh, knowing we made it to state, but knowing we didn't do uh, do what we had to do. Um, I think that's on a lot of boys' mind. Um, just getting back there is a big goal to us. And what's, what's been the biggest thing I've been working on this offseason to improve off last year? Uh, really? You got it. Oh, really just, really just grinding, like going in the weight room, grinding. Going on the field, grinding like we we know it's a it, we know it's gonna be a hard workout. We know it's gonna be challenging for us, but it's all about the mindset that um, that we going into in, into the workout, we into the game with you know um, that mindset. Uh, bringing that mindset into the game is, is it'll change everything. Um, that's why I be trying to get the boys to listen to it, understand. So what are we listening to pregame? What's on the playlist? What are we doing? Uh, now I know. Hold on. Now I know. Zero. We, well, yeah, I know that too. But I know we got some lean on me that goes. Oh yeah, lean on me. Oh, yes, That's sir. the best. 
But I do remember a little Mo City Don that got played too. Oh yeah, right? I think yeah, yeah, I think that I think that zero just uh, brings something different to us. Like, <laughs> oh no, it just brings something different to us. And then you know, of course, lean on me. Um, that's basically just like a family thing. Yeah, um, you know, we locked in yeah. before the game. Ohana, baby. I love it though. I think it's awesome. All right, guys, thank y'all so much. Appreciate y'all. All right, so let's talk a little bit about last season. Obviously, made some state title game. Didn't move the way you wanted it to, but how fun was that ride last year? And how fun was the season? Oh yeah, it was fun. Um, it really helped us uh, going into this year to know like we need to get back there. You know what I'm saying and win it this year. And what are the vibes like in the locker room? How's the team atmosphere? What's the culture like? Uh, it's very, it's very, it's very lit, man. And we don't um, before the game start, we are, we all locked in, ready to uh, play. And now I gotta ask you, get your daddy up. How difficult is it when when he's on the field to separate coach from dad? Is it easy? Uh, uh, I would say it's pretty easy, but sometimes, you know, it's kind of harder on me than the rest of the players. But, you know, that that's what comes with it, you know what I'm saying? So, I've gotten used to it. That's I've gotten used to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, well, what are, what are you looking forward to this season? What are the expectations for this year? Are we making it back to 18, Steve said? For sure. For sure that. But uh, when, we get, when we get there, we're going to have a good outcome. We're going to win. All right. And what are we listening to for the game? What's on the playlist? <laughs> Chief Keith loves Sosa. <laughs> um, what are you listening to? And it's some Mo City Dawn by Zero and Lean On Me. Yeah. Right, yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.